Hello again, this is Robert Veach here, and this is my video review of a product called the eShine Smart Charger S2. This is what you get in the package, the charger itself with two ports, a 12 volt cigarette lighter adapter with a mating plug that works on this, and the US plug with a mating plug that works on this device, instruction manual, and information about warranty and contact information about the lifetime warranty and lifetime support. This is a unique product. Uh, it's designed in California, USA, and has a UL listing, which is really nice to see on some of these uh, products that come from China. That's really nice. Um, what's unique about this, there's several things about it, is that it, um, it's built out of fire resistant materials. It will charge just about all types of batteries, NICADs, nickel, um, nickel metal hydride, lithium, ion, um, and all the different sizes of batteries also. Um, if you look at the box itself, nickel metal hydride, NICAD, A, AA, AAA, um, 4A, I've never even saw that, and C and SC. And then of course all these different lithium ion type batteries, also lithium polymer batteries, which is used in the radio control industry. Um, it has dual displays. It shows the battery current, the cell voltage, and the type. It has a two-year free uh, replacement warranty and a lifetime support warranty on the device, which is, uh, which is great. Now, to uh, test this, I'm going to first undo the uh, AC cord that comes with it. And it has a US plug on there. And I'm going to plug the end into 120 volts. And let's uh, look on the device. You can see it. here it has two inputs 120 volts, 110 volts, and the DC input from that 12 volt adapter. So that plugs in just like that. And the display comes on. And it looks like it's waiting for my batteries put in there. So I have a lot of different batteries uh, lying around that I can charge and try. This is an uh, 18, uh, 18650 style. This is a AA NICAD, which is older technology. This is a AA nickel metal hydride. And this is a nickel metal hydride AAA battery. So the first test is I have the 18650 on the right and I have the nickel, I'm sorry, the NICAD on the left. And it's starting to charge them. And you can see the display is saying that it's lithium ion and it's got a time there. And it's just saying that's NICAD or nickel metal hydride. And the display is alternating showing you information and uh, about what's going on. Voltage, milliamp hours, or milliamps, right there. Time. So you see on the display right there, it has, and there is the actual voltage, and there's the milliamps again. So you have a choice of two operating charging currents. And when you hit this button, there's an A and a B. You hit it the first time, and you see that shows 1,000 milliamp hours. And on the display right here, it'll show you the milliamp symbol right there. You hit it, so you hit twice and it goes to 500 milliamp hours. So you have a choice of essentially one amp or half an amp to go through the battery. And the same thing on this side, if I hit that B section, there's 500 milliamps or one amp or 1,000 milliamp hour. And again, the display is blinking and it shows you um, status so you got voltage milliamp right there time that's the elapsed time and the battery type right there and the voltage 4.02 so this is great this is all the information you need and i think it's really impressive that i'm charging totally two different battery sizes and technologies I'm talking about lithium ion right here and uh NICAD here, older technology. You also notice the display has a little barcode on there which is blinking, letting you know the status 
of how long it's going to take to uh, get to that upper point. Now I'm also going to try, let's undo this right here, and let's see if we could put in these other batteries. Let's see if it recognizes that one right there. And it says it's lithium ion, that's correct. And I have a choice again of 500 or 1 amp. And let's try this side with the other smaller battery right here. Let's see if it recognizes that. And there you go, a lithium ion, and we have a choice again, 500 milliamp hours or 1,000 or one amp. Now let's see what if happens if I put in a nickel metal hydride battery. Let's see if it recognizes that. Right away it shows 1.2 volts, and there it is, NICAD nickel metal hydride right there. And again, I could select 500 milliamp or 1,000 milliamps or one amp. Um, this is great. Now let's see if we can even uh, work with this hybrid right here. This is actually a uh, nickel metal hydride battery and I recognized it and you see it's got a slightly higher voltage and again we can put 500 milliamps or 1000 milliamps or 1 amp into it and it's displaying and showing the status and charging that battery also. I'm going to do a little test here. I'm going to uh, try the 12 volt cigarette lighter adapter that it comes with. I plug it into a 3 amp 13.8 volt DC which is a power supply that's simulating what's in your car on your cigarette lighter. And I'm using the included cable. And I have those two batteries there and I'm going to plug it into the mating plug on there. And let's see if that allows you to charge the same batteries I had. And there we go. Can see it working right now and again you have selection of the current 500 milliamps or one amp so it's working if you wanted to use this in your car or with an external supply like this you have the option of doing that so what's my overall opinion about this east shine smart charger s2 well as you can see i demonstrated i charged Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. I charged five different types of batteries, different sizes, from nickel metal hydride, even an old fashioned NICAD, and lithium ion, and it works beautifully. I completed charging those other batteries, and I'm charging these ones right now. So I really like this product. This product is very well made, and very reliable, and I love the display on there. It's nice to know where you stand with your battery terms at the charging time. So I'm going to give this product a full 5 star rating on my channel. And I hope this video review helped you with your buying decisions. Thanks for watching.